the son of Batala and patron of warriors and fighters. Like Mars and Apollo from Greco-Roman mythology, Apollaki is the god of the sun and the god of war. The Christianized peoples of the Philippines take their religious recitation and preservation seriously, as it is the living part of their life. Very few of these myths are written, and the great majority of them are preserved by oral tradition only. One example of these preserved beliefs is that the early people claim that Apalaki spoke with them. In those times, blackened teeth were considered the standard of beauty. Some natives would express to the Spanish friars that Apalaki would be angry when they welcomed foreigners with white teeth. Among the Tagalog and Pangasinan people, Apalaki is also considered to be the twin half of another god. Aring Sinukuan, who is also a god of the sun and war. Some scholars believe that the two gods are the same deity in some of their stories. The ancient Filipinos from every region of the country do not stick to a single version of these myths, nor do they give uniform names to their deities. As a result, Philippine mythology became diverse. Today, for modern practitioners of these beliefs and rituals, they look up to Apalaki for inspiration, especially those who specialize in the Filipino art form of Aranis, Escrima, and Kali, all of which are various names given to the same system of combat and self-defense. hope you enjoyed this time lapse. Leave comments below if you have any facts or interesting stories about this legend or character you want to share. See you on the next video.